Welcome to Seattle Refine and our special TGIF edition. I'm Guard Swanson. Coming up, it's Hot Topic Star Wars. The Last Jedi is finally here. But can we get through the weekend without any spoilers? Plus, Brad Pitt and this young lady, Jennifer Lawrence, our Hot Topics panel, can't stop talking about this budding Hollywood romance. And all of you Swifty fans out there, your chance to win two tickets to her upcoming show right here in Seattle. We have all the details. It is Friday, and that means just one thing. We're talking Hot Topics, and we can't wait to get started. This week's Hot Topics panel, of course, Kelly Koopmans and Seth Wayne from Como News. Hey. How are you? You guys ready to go? We're yeah. Bring it. I think so. Let's do it. Do you realize We are a panel. We are a panel. You're, you're a like panel. A moment. Hot Topics <laughs> is a big thing for us now. So many people talk about Thanks it. Thanks for having us. All right. Big so, fan of the show. And what about Jedi? You like The Last Jedi? The Star Wars thing? It's, it's coming Should out. Should we be honest with you? Be honest. I will see it. Now, I feel like there are a couple different levels of Star Wars fans. There yeah. are the ones who saw it, what, last night? At yeah. like 9 p.m. Who, who were all dressed it. up. Then there are the Ryan Yamamoto's of the world, my co-anchor on Come Morning News, who is waiting for the initial rush mm -hmm. to die down. So he's going to go see it next week. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of like... I'll see it in a couple weeks. And I will see when it. When I can an, get whatever seat I want. I will see I it on an airplane somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But what if you hear all the spoilers and you kind of already know what's going on? Are you still going to go see it? Yeah, yeah I would because still go I see don't. It. I mean, there's not. It's not. I'm not a crazy fan. So, so you don't I really think, care. No. I mean, it's fun. It's great. It's amazing. I mean, but no, I'm not. I'm I not. will say, growing up, there were always those movie franchises that we would go see as a family. Yeah. Like James Bond. Even if I didn't know what was what with James Bond, we would always go as a family to go see it because yeah. it's part of the franchise. This is kind of that similar thing where I'll go see it to check it off the list. Yeah. All right, now, do you guys binge watch at all? I don't watch a lot of yes. television, but I do. when I do get hooked on a show like Ozark, mm -hmm. I, I can't stop watching it. I love it. The Crown. You do yeah, love The Crown? Yeah, I love The Crown. What do you like about it? I'm only kidding. <laughs> I only, I'm, only, <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only saying that because this is Kelly's show. She talks about it all the time. She's a big fan of it. Okay, Crown. yeah, so I was kind of late to the game on the whole Crown thing, but when they announced, was it last week or this week, that the second season was out, mm -hmm. I was like, well, okay, I'll, I'll get on the bandwagon. So... I'm almost done with the first season. What I love about it is from the outside, you see such like a stoic royal family mm -hmm. that's so proper. But when you do this, you see all the little relationship things going on. Her relationship with her sister, Princess Margaret, with her husband. It's, it's just yeah. all very interesting. Winston it's, Churchill, too. And American Vandal, I guess Netflix says that's the top mm -hmm. most watched, most binge show around. And you love Ozark. I like what Ozark. What is Ozark about? Ozark is about a family, about a guy, an accountant who launders money for the cartel in Mexico. And okay. he, they're kind of chasing him all over, and they chased him into a small town. And it's just, it's, it's just incredible. The, the twists and the turns, the second you start watching, you cannot turn it off. Is this season one? Just finish season one. You have oh, ten okay. to go through. Okay. So I watched season one in like two days. Is it in a small town in the Ozarks? Is yes. that why it's called the Ozarks? Yes. And oh. it is fantastic. And Jason Bateman and Laura Linney is fantastic. And I'm a, and Bateman also uh, helped produce this show. Super talented guy. But oh man, it's scary. You never know what's going to happen. Can I give you one other show? I don't know if it's yeah. on Netflix or not, but I love watching. It's called Better Things. Have you heard about Better Things? No. That one's on. <laughs> it's on FX, and it's by Pamela Adlon, who is the writer, director, and star. It's about this like older actress, single mother of three, and it's hilarious. She won a Peabody oh, for her writing. It? Better things. Better things. And now have the second season out. Got it. I would it. just recommend it. I just think it's good. Kelly's really big on this TV thing. So if you have yeah, another panel yeah. with TV, don't include Mind me. Mind Hunter. <laughs> I mean, we could go like on She's like really here. into it. I really don't. I don't know what my problem is. I don't know really why I don't. Well, you don't have cable. I don't have cable. You have oh. like internet that he watches I have, TV. I don't. Through. Yeah, I have Apple TV. Yeah. But but really? Yeah, I wow. do. Wow. All yeah. right. Let's move on. Jada Jada Pinkett Smith. Have you been following? She's really upset. Her movie. No one even watched it. No, over a... I've seen that movie. Girl did you, see, did yes. you see the movie? No. I saw the movie. Well, the foreign press didn't see it, and she's right. upset about well, that. First of all, this is not a movie that you're like, wow, Golden Globes, Oscars, the whole thing. It's just not. I mean, it's a group of gals who go to New Orleans, and they, uh, they're zip lining over the street, which doesn't exist, but it would be fun. <laughs> so, um, it's yeah. just not one of those things. It was a funny, funny movie, and they're just talking about, you know, getting away from their families and just having fun and letting their hair down. But I don't know. I mean... It, so Tiffany Haddish, she's like, this was her big breakout role, right? Mm -hmm. So what I think is interesting, I just was looking at the Golden Globe nominations. Yeah. And in there, clearly, Girls List or Girls Trip is not on there. But what is, is this movie called Get Out, which is more of like a horror film. Yeah. So it's kind of like if this was one of the hit comedies of the be, summer. Right. 
and it's not even con like in contention. Right. But here's this horror movie. I don't. I don't really get it. So if the Hollywood Foreign Press wants to explain, it's bizarre. To me, no, I, it's, I'll take it's it. true. It's like one of those things where you think to yourself, and I think that they thought, well, it might not be worthy of something like yeah. an award, but it is a really truly funny movie, and there's such talented women in it's that. It's like movie. actual comedy. Right. Exactly. And that it's a thing. I mean, it's it's really go check it out. It's good. And and there are talented directors too, mm -hmm. and they have a few movies that came out, and the Golden Globes mm -hmm. didn't even like nominate them. They're just right. saying female Sometimes director. I don't get what? It. And then you watch the Oscars, and then or whatever sh award show, and you're like. What is that movie? Wait, I've never heard of those movies. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Well, you know, it's like the Oscar mm -hmm. kind of vibe that everyone says that the Academy yeah. goes for more than popular movies. And a good analogy, go to a fashion show, you see the people and you see the you see the fashions. Yeah. And you're like, who would wear like, that? What is that? What who would wear this? <laughs> All right. I, 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 <laughs> you I'm, down downtown. Do you know what I'm saying? I go to QSC in this? Uh no. All right, I'm I'm going on the record right now. Yeah. Let's hear it. I don't give a rat's rear about uh, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Lawrence. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I don't care what celebrities do. Is that just me? What about you guys? I think you're... Yeah. I, I don't know if I'm so really into it, like, oh my gosh, but it's kind of fun to follow along. I don't think I would be, you know, watching 24-7. It's interesting. I think whenever you add Brad Pitt into a sentence, it gets interesting. And he's 53. Jennifer Lawrence is... And she's is 27. Yeah. Is that so a big deal? It's yeah. almost legitimately double the age. But... Uh, I this don't know. Is, it makes for great, you know, celebrity talky, talk. Talky stuff. However, you look at ages of like um, Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta Jones. Yeah. Aren't they essentially the same difference? Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. But what if it was reversed? What if it was an older woman with a younger guy? You don't see that very often. My aunt and her husband have a significant age difference, but they're not like Hollywood stars. Oh, and what is it? Significant, I want to say it's like 15 years or something like that. She's older. She's older. There yeah. has to be. There has to be a couple out there. I yeah. can't even. Off, there has to be, because that's like a big thing, like the whole cougar thing. Uh, and what about having children in your fifties, like John Stamos? He's 53, 54, having his yeah. first baby. Good for him, Uncle yeah. Jesse. Yeah. Uncle Jesse's got <laughs> Uncle be Jesse. Is Jesse. Gonna, <laughs> Uncle Jesse, by the way, has aged very well. My Look at him. Oh, I mean, he looks great. How old is he? 54. Okay. So he and Brad Pitt are the same age, is what you're Pretty close, yeah. Me. Now, Brad Pitt looks like he has gone through some things. <laughs> well, and he has. He ha no, this, this is one of his Oh, yeah. He looks terrific. He looks great. And he looks incredible. Yeah. Okay. Jesse you look looks. better, though. And you're, oh, you're, you're too yeah, nice. No? Didn't Janet Jackson just have her first kid within this last year? I yeah. She's 50, she's 50 or something? Yeah, it's 54. I mean, you know what? Well, you era. know what? My aunt had triplets at 54. Carried them the whole way. Seriously? Wow. Crazy, yeah. And, and now they all went to Stanford or something. They're all like brilliant children. Oh. I love well, it. Well, maybe that's nice. the trick. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay, I, I, one of our producers picked out some... Uh, it, it's this thing that's just blown up on the internet where you have these um, plus-sized tights, but there's a skinny model. Oh, have you seen this? Did you see this video? Did you see this? I did not see this. Check okay. this out right here. Now... Is that that's just, a, that's weird disturbing. to me. It's disturbing. It's really weird. It shows how, I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna sell plus size tights, put a plus size person in those tights right. to show that you can, not a model of that size, and then expand it. I think it's offensive. It's completely offensive. I don't this get it. This seems like more trouble than they needed to do. First of all, well, you know you can buy- Just get a plus size model. Do you, do you oh, think they meant sale. to do it? And do you it's think for they $4. It's only four. To, so if you're looking for tights, they're. Yeah. Kind of do you think that this is just a marketing ploy, and they meant to do it so everyone's talking about it like us? It That's could possible. be, but honestly, but it's it's, a, it's disgusting. Yeah. It, it really. I mean, it's truly. It's horrible. All right. I mean, to think. If, if, yeah. No. Okay. We can't no, end on that. No, thank you. Happy holidays, everybody. Hey, happy holidays. <laughs> Shopping done. No, I haven't even started. Are you kidding? What? Haven't you ever heard of Amazon Prime? Oh, right, yeah. No, that's, <laughs> de house talk, decorated? Though. Oh, yeah, completely to the yeah. T. Yeah, it's good. That'll be fine. All right, Seth, appreciate right. it. Yeah, good to be well, here. All right, we're going to have you again, so be prepared. We're ready. Are you ready to come back? We'll see. We're ready. All right, thank we'll you, see. Kelly. You got it. All right, Seattle Refine is just getting started. Coming up, it is a big day here on Como, and we need your help to brighten the holiday season for local families. But first, it's the day Star Wars fans have been waiting for. We're heading to the Science Center, where the film's being shown for 72 straight hours. We're back after this. Back to Seattle Refine, I'm Guard Swanson. Star Wars fans rejoice. It's the moment they've all been waiting for. The Last Jedi is on the big screen, and the excitement to see it is out of this world. IMAX Theater's got first dibs to show the new movie, and Seattle Refine's John Prentice joins us from the largest screen in Washington State. Hey, John. 
Hey guard, I'm over here at Pacific Science Center where Star Wars opening weekend is in full swing. It started yesterday with hardy souls like these camping out for hours in hopes of nabbing tickets to a nearly sold out Star Wars premiere weekend at Pacific Science Center's IMAX Theater. And to keep up with demand, they're gonna be running the movie 72 hours straight, back to back to back. And this is Will. He's the CEO of Pacific Science Center. Tell me, how many people are you expecting to come through this weekend? Over 6,000 people. We'll have it running for, uh, around the clock for four days. Now, it seems like a lot of work on the projector to me to run it for 72 hours straight. Is it gonna be able to keep up? Absolutely. We got the state-of-the-art IMAX projection system here. It was installed in 2015. It's the biggest screen in Washington State. It's the best projection. We'll, we'll be good. How about the sound? That's part of IMAX too, right? It's awesome. It's 12 channel uh, surround sound with the laser projection. It shows colors in a way that are more vivid and more lifelike, so the, the, the screen looks better and the sound puts you right in the middle of the action like nowhere else. Have you seen the movie yet? Not yet. Are you looking forward to it? I'm not getting in front of the line of these people. Yep. That's fair, that's fair. All right, come over here, guys. These guys right here have been here since 5 a.m. waiting and waiting. Tell me, guys, why is it worth standing out in the cold to see the new Star Wars movie? Well, I would say uh, just it's a it's a great experience being out here with uh, everybody. High hopes for this latest film? Oh yeah, super high hopes. Can't wait to see you know just like how this next story takes us. It's it's gonna be really fun. It's it's just amazing, really. Just the whole story that George Lucas started is amazing. I've heard that whole like good versus evil, like classical mythos kind of thing, kind of just stands the test of time, doesn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, well, it's going to be playing all weekend, the new Star Wars film, The Last Jedi. You can see it right here at Pacific Science Center. John Prentice, Seattle, Refine. Pacific Science Center started showing the film at 6 o'clock last night. The only shows with tickets left are the 4 a.m., so get up early, and 7 a.m. through the weekend. The rest are completely sold out. Still ahead on Refine, Santa's back at the Seattle Aquarium. But first, tis the season of giving, how you can help us bring a little extra cheer to boys and girls across western Washington. Before we go, tickets for Taylor Swift's May 22nd show went on sale earlier this week, but Refine wants to send you there for free. Right now, you can enter a chance to win two tickets to the May 22nd concert at CenturyLink Field. Just head to seattlerefine.com slash Taylor for contest rules and details. You have until December 26th to enter, so good luck. the Seattle Refine in our special TGIF edition. Today is a very big day with our holiday toy drive. We are teaming up with the Salvation Army to collect new unwrapped toys and collect donations to help families in need. A big thank you to Brown and Haley, the Harlem Globetrotters, and Top Pot for helping with the law offices of Harold Carr Phone Bank. And a special thanks to our presenting sponsors, Chrysler Dodge Jeep, Ram of Seattle, Hyundai of Kirkland, and Ford of Kirkland, who have also been taking donations and just dropped them off here today. We're so lucky that uh, we have so many team members. Between all of our facilities, we have 250 employees, and then we have an outpouring from our customers that we're able to get so many toys that we can give back to the community and actually give uh, other people Christmas and, and some of the kids that maybe wouldn't have as good one uh, without what we're doing. It's, it's great. It feels great. We're just really proud of the work that the Salvation Army does, and we're very, very happy to partner with them. Uh, not everyone gets to share in the prosperity that uh, many of us have in Seattle, and so it's a great, heartwarming time of year when everybody comes out and wants to make sure that everybody has a good Christmas. It's a great time to give back and give back through the Salvation Army, and what better way to give back than with kids? with kids and with the toys, and hopefully we can have uh, a lot of joy that's spread with, uh, with a lot of kids in the community. Yeah, this event is, is so important, and joining us now to talk about the Como Drive and how you can donate, Star 101.5, Jen Pirek. And Jen, you got your Santa hat on. I got to go in. This is your time of year, isn't it? You've been doing this so long, and it is so important, isn't it? It's so important. You have, we both have kids, so yep. we know what it's like to see our kids like fill up with joy and excitement over a gift, and there's so many kids in our community that don't have that privilege, and so that's why we're doing what we're doing today, and we need everyone's help, and we've made it so easy for people to donate. There's, there's four different ways to do it. Mm -hmm. We're at four different locations. We're at here at Como Plaza across from the Space Needle. Uh, we're at three different Fred Meyer locations, yes. Puyallup, Issaquah, and Bothell. Got it. So if you're out and about and in those areas, please come see us. You can donate via the phone 
at 1-866-944-3838. And right now, any donation this hour from 3 to 4 p.m. Yeah. gets entered into a big contest. You can win four tickets to the Seattle uh, But you got to do it this hour. This hour, Harlem Globe Trotters, you get four tickets. We have 10 of those that we're wow. giving away. So you're in the drawing for that. Yeah. And then you can also, I love to online shop. So if you're online shopping, grab some toys, put them in your basket, and send them to us. Just yeah. send them to the station here, and we'll get them to the Salvation Army, who will get them to families. And then the last way to donate is go to comonews.com slash toy drive, and click the donate button. You can donate yeah. online. So if you want to make it personal, do some online shopping, pick your favorite toys, or oh, just give cash. Oh, so easy, so easy. So you know, easy. I came in early this morning for, for the show, obviously, and... All the Como people are out there working hard in the dark this morning taking yes. gifts. I'm, yes. And I'm sure they're filling up, they're getting a lot of gifts, but of course uh, more is necessary, right? Can I tell you a great donation that we got? CenturyLink yeah. got together with their people. They brought in a caravan of vehicles, 40 vehicles full of toys. Wow. And then at the very end of that caravan, a trailer with $17,000 worth of toys. Oh, so it's a great, how it was nice a great, is that? Yeah, it was a great start to our day, but it's not enough. We have thousands and thousands of families out there that are going without, and we don't want that so help us and, and if and if you're gonna help what what toy should they bring what one do you need is there any special toy here's what I'm gonna say I think teens get forgotten so gift cards and cash so we can go buy gift cards is great and then I always say get your favorite toy or get your kids favorite toy bring your kids out yes. to show them the spirit so of giving important. Yeah. so important to give back to people that are less fortunate so bring them if they pick out their favorite gift that's gonna make some kid pretty happy yeah all right yeah Jan you're doing great and, <laughs> you, and your whole it. team downstairs on the third floor so you guys have been knocking Thank it out you to of the everyone park. that has donated so far, and please keep giving. Yeah, you got to do that. Seattle Refined's not finished yet. We are taking a dive to get you into the holiday spirit. That's next here on Refined. Back to refine of Guard Swanson. If you're not in the holiday spirit yet, we know the perfect place to get you in the mood. We're talking about our sponsor, Seattle Aquarium, where St. Nick is already making quite a splash. Santa is an old friend of the Seattle Aquarium. He's been around for years and years and loves all the creatures of Puget Sound. And several years back, he approached us and asked if he could come and see all the children here at the Seattle Aquarium and participate with his great friends, the fish of Puget Sound. So um, he's always been around and we get to celebrate him here at the aquarium now as a new Northwest tradition. Santa has a lot of really specialized equipment that allows him to dive in our exhibit here, the window on Washington waters. He wears a dry suit underneath his traditional Santa suit and a mask with an air hose that allows him to breathe under the water and greet all the children here at the aquarium. to sink down. We had to add a little extra weight to Santa. It's like been it. amazing. People love it. I I get to see this uh, eight times a year and every single time as soon as Santa appears the crowd just goes oh it's him and they get so excited and it really just warms my heart to be able to see that and get to share it with them. At the first door he reached Mr. Fish's eyes grew wide. The shelves were full of bottles. How could any fish decide? Well if you come see him he'll read a story. Uh, and then we also have a bunch of bands that will be performing. And seasonal treats in our cafe, so hot chocolate, cookies, um, lattes for the parents. It's just a really fun family activity. You can spend all afternoon down here. You can catch our sponsor, Seattle Aquarium, scuba diving Santa on Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays through December 24th. Find more information on our website, seattlerefine.com. All right, that's going to do it for this edition of Seattle Refined. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you back here at 3 on Monday.